Okay, this is a video on some strange interactions between a couple Behringer modules. Um, it's an interaction between the Behringer abacus, which is a make noise maths clone. So this probably happens with the mass as well. Um, between the abacus and the Behringer perfect pitch, and then another one between the abacus and the Behringer 1050 sequential switch. Um, so I made a post on Reddit asking if anybody knew of any other strange module interactions, and I figured I might as well just document these ones on video just so people don't think I'm making stuff up. Anyways, I'll start a sequence and I'll show basically what's going on with the abacus and sequential switch first, and then we'll get to the other one after. So I'll start it. So this is a sequence off the Behringer Spice. Um, and if I cycle the envelope, we get some repeats on the Spice. So if we look over here, it's blocking the sequential switch, but it's not moving through all the steps, it's only moving through steps, the odd steps, one, three, five, and seven. So, I have the um, sum output clocking the, the 1050. If we use the end of cycle, it goes through them all like you would expect through all eight steps. But for some reason, the sum or the or or even the function output will only cycle the odd steps. So you would think maybe if I started on an even step, it would cycle the even instead. But no, it snaps back to the odd. So something about the trigger makes this thing stay odd. So what I did was I took the end of cycle to the mixer section of the abacus so I can mix it in here. So if I bring two up, we get all the steps. But if I bring it below half, we only get the four. But if I set it somewhere around like one o'clock, or like, um, just let me set this for a second. So now it'll sometimes go to the even steps, but mostly stay on the odds. So I can show you what this sounds like. On the odds, I have some oscillator waveforms. And on the evens, I have some noise and other oscillator waveforms. So if we put it on, get it so it's just cycling four. So, kind of cool, kind of useful. Um, the other interaction is pretty strange. The perfect pitch, you'll notice nothing is plugged into the input. Um, but if I cycle, like, and then that all that activity from this side of the, the right side of the abacus doesn't affect this. Only the left side function generator, if I cycle it, we start to get some activity out of the CV out, even though nothing is connected between these two modules. So something is going on under, or either like the physical connection of the module or something under inside the case is somehow making these connect. So we can hear what this sounds like. I'll just take an oscillator here 
to the output. So this is the CV. Without, it's just like that. So the speed of the cycling affects this. And also the settings of the perfect pitch. And it actually kind of works like a sample and hold. You can run a trigger to the input of the, the abacus channel and hold voltages. Just because it might be fun, we can use the stick to control the speed of the cycling. And just take the X. It'd be fun to use the Y to control the oscillator pitch as well, get a cool sound effects patch going. So I don't know why this happens. I haven't tried moving these modules to see if separating them farther or moving them away from the power supply has anything to do with it. The power supply might be a factor here, um, but kind of interesting. I don't want to separate them because I kind of like this functionality. If you plug into the input, the um, it goes away, like it works as normal. If you have an input, it doesn't matter what this thing is doing. It's only when it's high gain and nothing is connected that we get this strange interaction. So anyways, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.